All righty. So it's me again. Hey, everyone. Yeah, I somehow I bought me the, the spot here on the stage this time um, uh, with a bit of sponsoring. So um, if you would indulge me for some a few minutes um, while I say a few things about um, my company, which is Allotropia and, and our team. Um, many of uh, them are actually here um, today. So um, first of all, um, who are we? Um, we are company is based in Hamburg, which is actually the uh, the birthplace, um, more or less of uh, of not of Star Office but of Open Office. Um, and um, yeah, we we um, I was working um, uh, with the pretty much with the ex uh, with the previous team. Many of the people that are now with Allotropia, I was working for another company, and I've also been keynoting for them. So you you might remember CIB. Um, and we spun out um, Allotropia with the with the open source team, like everyone, um, almost everyone from uh, from that existing team came with me in the new company um, at the beginning of last year. Um, so I I still um, have the from from the old from CIB. Um, Uli Brandner is a shareholder. Uh, of the new company, and we continue to serve um, existing customers. So it was kind of a uh, spin out, like doing exactly the same like you did before, just um, with a with a separate company. Um, and that turned out um, to be very nice and and um, and good idea. And um, we had quite a successful um, first year, the last year. Um, yeah, the focus is pure play, open source. So we are a consultancy business with a bit of um, um, product um, offerings, but it's all purely open source. So there's nothing um, that you um, that we're doing that is not an either an open source product or open or services or consultancies around um, software that is not open source. Um, yeah, and we have a number of customers. We're very grateful for that. Um, quite diverse, uh, with a wide spectrum, from public sector to private sector, uh, large and small. Um, yeah, which is which is nice, and I'm I'm quite um, happy and quite pr quite proud about it. So um, focus really on a conference should be on people. So so my focus for this for the for the first part of this keynote is about. People, which is um, our team at Allotropia, um, of which I'm really extremely proud. Um, and what we're doing, I mean, you can read that from the slides. I'm not going to do that. I'm just kind of talking over the, the idea behind that. So for something like LibreOffice or something as complex as LibreOffice um, and other related technology, um, you need a number of people. It's just not possible to do that all with one or two or three persons. It's just too much, too large. And if you want to do something with with good quality and good results in reasonable time, you need experts. And I'm I'm quite honored um, to be in a position to have quite a few of them working for Allotropia, and so that we we're able to cover um, the entire code base. And as such, we are a company where you can come and say, I want a bug fixed or a feature implemented, and we can do that. Uh, it's not like, uh, oh, we can only kind of do, uh, I don't know, impress bug fixes. Impress is in, in need of some bug fixes, but... Um, <laughs> so, so do come to us if you want an impress bug fix, but you can also come to us if you want something else fixed in, in LibreOffice or in related um, uh, software. Um, yeah, and with all those things that we're doing, we're also very, very happy and very proud um, that we managed to be the leading um, company behind the, the WebAssembly port. And there will be a, a talk about that, some updates, uh, some new things happening there. Um, and that's also, I think, a really wonderful match 
uh, with that, uh, what Italo just uh, said in the, in the opening session, with that uh, LibreOffice technology moniker um, on this conference, because it's never been intended uh, to do that, like running in the browser or running on some, um, on some uh, uh, WASM runtime on a server or being ported to so many different um, devices, operating systems, platforms as it is today. I mean, that, that thing started in the 90s. There was just no iOS and no Android and, and also no OS X. And there was barely some Linux um, back in the day. So um, I, I really like that idea, this technology thing. And, and that's this, um, this company logo that, that is kind of the stylish uh, um, buckyball um, that was on, on the first slide. It's a bit like this kind of, this technology, this kind of gem that is the scope base. You can morph that really quite massively and you won't recognize it when it's like running at some PDF conversion on some back end or if it's running on your mobile device. It really doesn't look like desktop LibreOffice, but it's still the same code base. Um, yeah, and well, as I say, kind of super glad, super happy to, to be in a position uh, to work on that, to innovate, uh, to be part of that um, LibreOffice technology movement. Yeah, beyond that, we're also kind of doing some uh, stuff like um, standardization and a bit of uh, OSB alliance, which is kind of open source lobbying um, for, for Germany. And of course, we're active in the Document Foundation in very many ways, um, in, the, in the bodies of the foundation, but also, and that's actually most of the, uh, most of the time, most of the work actually developing um, for LibreOffice. Um, so that's... Um, Mark shots of the team, um, and um, yeah, what you see here is something like 80-ish years of uh, um, uh, some total of 80-ish years of experience in the in that LibreOffice technology, and um, yeah, some of them are here, and um, let's quickly go through that. Uh, so first one today is um, Gabor with a state of interoperability the good, the bad, and maybe also the ugly. I haven't seen the, the talk yet, but um, um, I, I'm sure that Gabo will deliver, especially on the, <laughs> on the, on the gory details of um, what, what's not really quite working yet. Um, and so the idea behind that is like, get some honest assessment on where we are with a view on like outlook, like what do we need to do? Like what's the, where's the best bang for the buck? If we fix it here, what's, what's gonna kind of get unlocked? So um, yeah, you might not want to miss that um, today um, at 15.30 in Loyola. Um, then uh, there is some, uh, a colleague from city of Munich, Björn Ranft, and uh, yours truly um, at four in the, the other room. Um, that's essentially talking about Volmux, which is uh, some quite massive Java extension um, that um, is used for not only mail merge, but it's also like template organization. It's, it's essentially, it's a bit like PHP. It's like you can, you can write code how your templates should behave and what they can do. And it's really quite powerful. So um, that's like lessons learned and what's the plan and um, what are we going to do there and why is it relevant or why do we think it is so relevant for, for the project. Um, then after that, uh, back to back, uh, some, uh, some updates on this. I started uh, talking about that at FOSTEM. Um, that is a prototype fund project. Um, so, like, for 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 LibreOffice, probably most interesting, like, just getting someone to do a bit of experimenting and a bit of um, work on on the CI. Um, there was always been people like trying a bit with coverage, and um, it never really fit into the Jenkins thing. And yeah, there are some updates on that and some, some plans and, and some progress report and um, also quite some room, I guess, for discussions and, and feedback. Uh, then 
half an hour later, uh, Samuel, that is a lightning talk um, that's remote, so Samuel couldn't make it uh, to Milano, um, but he will be available um, for questions on, on metrics, and it's a recorded talk, but um, he's going to be there. Um, yeah, and um, Vasily also couldn't make it. Um, Italo mentioned it, there's quite some challenge sometimes with the visa and stuff. Um, so it's also remote and it's about, um, and it's tomorrow, 10.30 in, uh, in this Ritchie room. Uh, I think it's right after Miklos' talk. So that's, that's my, if you're interested in that area, um, this, um, uh, this, uh, that's kind of the newer word form control um, <coughs> sorry, form control engine. So, uh, and there was some some very interesting, very nice to see, like some some virtuous circle of um, uh, Vasily started, and um, um, Miklos took it quite quite a bit further, and then Vasily was kind of adding a bit to that. So, maybe you guys should have had a, a joint talk, um, but it's it's going to almost be like that. So it's going to be back to back, so people can just stay in the room and. Um, yeah, could be interesting. Um, after that, um, Balash, um, he's going to be here and he's going to talk about uh, calc improvements. Um, also, don't miss that. And um, uh, at uh, uh, before lunch, just half an hour before lunch, some updates um, from Balash and me on the, the, the WASM project. Um, Balash had pulled quite some, some nice tricks off there, and um, we're going to talk about that and also what's the, the plans there. And um, then the second last is uh, Armin uh, at 3 on Friday. Um, graphic subsystems, like the history, the details, what's the plan, the vision there, the architecture. So that's going to be, if, you, if you're interested in this graphics area, uh, go there uh, and get some update and, and ask questions. Um, and uh, yeah, and then Michael is going to give some update on the uh, state of ODF and what's happening there, standardization, and also uh, on the implementation front. Um, good. Um, so that was that. Um, I think I got some few minutes left. Um, so, some time for, for personal statements. Um, community. So, so, as I said, it, this is all about people. And we are a community. And what is a community? Obviously, it's a body of persons with common interests. And um, that's good to know because we all share quite a lot of common interests. Um, and sometimes when we disagree, I think it's, um, it's good to disagree, it's important to disagree, it's not that we, we almost must uh, agree on everything, but if, if the disagreement is getting too much, or it's, um, it's, at least that's for me when it's getting on me, it's good to step back for a moment and then reflect on the fact that um, the shared common interest is this, this project and the software and this foundation. And we're all here because of that, because we love free software and we love LibreOffice and we, we, we love TDF and we built it, like many in this room, like help building it. So, so we share, the, the amount of shared interest is massive. And, and when, the, when the going gets tough, um, that at least helps me then to say, okay, um, maybe let's talk about what, what, what we agree on and what we share and, and, and the, the common vision and the common mission um, rather than whether this tiny detail here should be green or blue or black. Um, yeah, on the question of mission, um, that um, is just, again, a personal statement. Um, what, what is my mission statement? That's pretty, that's pretty simple. Um, I want to make LibreOffice rock um, and have a lot of fun in the process. So, so, and I think that is very likely true for at least um, uh, all the volunteers um, that are contributing to LibreOffice. The reason why we're doing this is because it's great, it's fun, we love it, we like it. It gives us, it's rewarding and that's why we're doing it. Otherwise, why would we spend the weekends and the nights and our vacation 
um, uh, to tr and travel 48 hours uh, to come to some remote place and, and meet people because we like it. It's fun, it's great, it's rewarding. Um, and then, of course, the, um, the mission statement, that is not the mission statement of, uh, of the Document Foundation or the LibreOffice project, um, and the mission statement that we have is, is maybe a little bit dated, and we have been talking about um, perhaps updating that for, for like a year or two already, and perhaps it's time to do that, and why not start discussing that um, while we're here in person over beer or a pizza um, or, um, or a tea. Um, and on the vision thing, so that, that's the mission, like, like what the, the, the doing bit. So, so I, I want to make it rock and I, I enjoy doing that. Um, and, and the vision bit, um, yeah, so, so I, I, I broadly, um, I, I don't think that really needs an update. I mean, it's this, um, from this next decade manifesto, it's like bridge the digital divide, um, provide everyone with office productivity that is open source so, so they can, so they, the people are empowered, so they can improve it, um, they can work with it, uh, they can innovate on top of that, like us doing that here um, with, with this LibreOffice technology stuff. Um, I think the, the vision, and maybe it needs a bit of brushing up, but, but I don't think it really needs, at least from, from my perspective, an update. Um, so um, my message then for the project, now that I have the stage, um, is just, yeah, let's just continue having fun. And, and let's continue to be enthusiastic about what we're doing. And it's easier. If, if you're having fun, then it's easy to be enthusiastic about it. And if you are enthusiastic about what you're doing, then you will attract other people who say, oh, there's shiny, happy people there. What are they doing? I might want to join that. Um, yeah, and of course, continue to have great ideas um, and innovate. And that's what happened Like from, from day one with LibreOffice. You might remember that when you were around what a liberating experience that was. And everyone was just, ah, finally we're free to do what we always wanted to do. Like we're not, we're not held back by, by policies and, and rules and whatever. So, so people started to innovate on the code and people started to innovate on the infrastructure and people started to innovate on the tools. And people started to innovate on the, um, the project organization, which was rather rigid before. So, Let's, let's not stop uh, being enthusiastic and let's not stop to innovate and to, to great new things um, because that's kind of this virtuous circle. And if, if, you, if you do that, you will be attractive. We will be attractive um, for other people. Um, so with that, um, the only thing that uh, is left is to say thank you very much for all your work Yeah, thank you very much for all your work, your time, your passion, your enthusiasm that you're putting into the project since some of them since, I don't know, 12 years or longer before that. So, um, yeah, I, I bow before you. Thank you very much and enjoy the conference. Thank you.